Humans and cauliflower share a common ancestor going back over 420 years, which is why to this day, cauliflower is a very accurate map of the human brain. You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. No, I'm no brain expert, but I do know enough about the brain to be able to tell you what every single little part does. This is the cerebral vortex. It governs your ability to sense and navigate across the ground. This is your ankle center. It's an evolutionary leftover from when humans had no torso or legs, so 20% uh, of the brain was used to process ankle function. So I'm just gonna take this standard RCA cable and uh, jam that right into my skull, and then reroute that into my cameras. This little part here is the speech control. It helps, you know, govern the way your pitch works, um, the way the uh, contour and timber of your voice works. It'd be pretty cool if you could play that in real life. So, you know, if you were going out of date and you want to impress someone, you can make your voice sound like this. But, you know, we have the voice that we have. Mm. This part here controls the vision. Um, your eyes are obviously a pretty important part of your body because without them, um, you wouldn't be able to watch Netflix. Ouch, yeah, I feel that. Whoops. Let's see if I can get. No, I severed that. Out vision. Oh, shit. Luckily, the brain's adaptable, and I just, um, it's, uh, it's too hard to explain. This here is your memory center. You gotta be careful when you fiddle around with this one. How many times do I have to tell you? Stop playing with your food! This piece regulates breathing, circulation, skeletal lymphatics, urinary, cardio, digestive, respiratory, endocrine, and reproductive systems. Elbows. And this half of the brain is devoted to second-guessing text messages. Ah, uh, it's a brain. You want to get these into smaller pieces. About yay big. Or smaller or bigger. A lot of them will just break off at the right size. What is the right size? I want to look really like raw cauliflower. It's great. Boil that. Olive oil. Put in a little bit of coconut oil for sweetness. See how that's not pouring? Throw some in there. Salt. Some salt. Pepper, pepper, pepper. And some curry powder. We're gonna wang jangle this until it's all smooth. And by smooth, I mean bumpy because cauliflower is not smooth. Onto the pan. Onions on four something. Just make it hot. The word cauliflower is an anagram for awful recoil. And that's because you shouldn't eat cauliflower. All right, let's, whoa, just jumped. Let's give these a good wrestling. And kind of like any vegetable, you can cook it a little or a lot. These will get mushy if you overcook them, just like steaming or boiling. Don't boil vegetables. Have at least a modicum of respect for yourself and for vegetables. Let's try these. Mm. I was gonna put them back in, but these are done, man. That was maybe 15 minutes, really hot. So, you know. They're much better when they're still just a little bit crisp, in my opinion. But I'm not you. You're just gonna have to go with um, your own personal private feelings inside, which are governed by the emotional center, which is right. Here. So delicious. And it uh, just tastes so good. So... Oh.